what's going on y'all i want to give y'all this analogy that i end up teaching my children and uh you can share it with yours or you can share however you want or you can take it in for yourself whether you have kids or not so basically what i'm going to end up telling you is something called the fool with the crown so it basically goes like this money doesn't give you power over people what gives you power over people is fear love and intelligence when you actually end up having something what it is somebody needs and cherish or if they actually end up fearing you and they don't want you to actually end up hurting them or hurting something or someone what it is that they need or if you end up having a, sh a piece of knowledge in life and in this world what it is you could easily just give them you could easily just give them without batting an eye you know a whole abundance of you know enlightenment or even stuff in order to stop them from starving or being taken over so those are the things um, that I've learned in my life that basically end up making you have power over people money is just a leverage money is a commodity it doesn't really actually end up holding any true value the value mostly comes from the individual itself so those are the things of uh, if you look at all the times um even from times in kemet and medieval times right everybody right protected their kingdom everybody end up having knowledge fear or wealth where their subordinates they're basically they're the subordinates people them that worked for them people that worked for them or cherished them probably did out of fear love or wanted to end up gaining some type of form of uh enlightenment knowledge or information from them but these individuals them were kings and queens whether they were black or white whatever it is you want to go ahead and, and stable them as so the thing is if you're not protecting your kingdom your empire you're just a fool with a crown how can you actually end up having money but you don't actually know how to protect your your wealth how can you actually end up having a kingdom that provides food or nourishment or even a, a army that's feared but you can't ever go ahead and protect your own or even go ahead so you got to go ahead and learn how to use these things as leverage your skills your talents your trades what it is that you have as leverage as leverage to where it is now you can go ahead and have so many different people in your pockets or having so many people want you here you go you have another empire that wants to go ahead and befriend you whatever the simple reasons is for those three analogies that you actually end up having or providing or probably even all of the above so it just basically goes in those type of forms now if somebody has a problem with you following empires that actually end up having love for you, love for you will actually go ahead and tell you that or either they will band together with you now and unite in order to go ahead and fight against your common enemy which in this they will end up having as well too because they see you as a friend or a family or someone who they have to go ahead and fear or they need to go ahead and trust with everything else to teach them and show them how to run their empire or they just basically need you for all of that because they do not know how to run their own empire